is but nine days old, yet know the fields and mountains that spring has come again. Fresh air, at last. Our hangar is on the city streets for the first time for the Everlife Bloom Festival. And the valley map is covered in cherry blossoms. Hopi now has a forest and style Kitsune variant. It is armed with special versions of the Rizdor and Smuta cannons. There is also the Scold, but it's in a different style. Legendary pilots Misaki Ueno and River Chase. This good boy is the new Capri pilot. Uh, wait, no, the pilot is his lady owner. While Capri's ability is active, Misaki Ueno provides immunity to freeze, separation. And <laughs> Here is another brainchild of real life science River Chase. When Typhon fires its cannon, the robot gets a bonus to all damage for 5 seconds. By the way, read her story in the game. It is rather unsettling. Interface settings. Hmm, right. I will drag this here and let this one be over here. Lots of people asked for this. You can now set up your combat interface and move the buttons wherever you want. Share your battle screenshots on social networks. There's a link below where you can discuss absolutely everything with the other players. And now we will talk about the equipment. New Titan Heimdall. A new support Titan is arriving in War Robots to the sound of the Gjallar horn. Just like other robots from Ragnarok Squad, Heimdall can switch modes. This is when the second ability of the Titan also changes. In repair mode, Heimdall speeds up and repairs everyone around it. The second ability amplifies this effect. In battle mode, Heimdall activates its built in weapon and the physical shield as well as increasing its own damage and that of its allies. Its special ability in this mode is the Suppression Effect Shot. But that's not all. When Heimdall falls in battle, it emits one final powerful pulse, which can even repair great damage. New Titan weapons – Dazzler and Lantern. These are medium-range laser weapons that are great on the Heimdall. If the firepower of a Dazzler and Lantern is concentrated on a single target, they will temporarily blind the enemy's aiming systems. Other equipment A Titan with the Onslaught Reactor module will be more effective at attacking standard robots, and even more effective at attacking Titans. The Whiteout drone turns off the abilities of all opponents around as soon as there is an enemy in the targeting reticle and within 100 meter radius. Balance update we are making a number of changes to the robots and their weapons. We base them on our own data and player surveys. Our two key goals are to make essential pieces of equipment less essential. Another thing we want to do is to reduce the power of dominant robots, putting them in line with other T4 robots. Find more details in the article at the link in the description. We've got a big giveaway for those of you who watched it till the end. Check out the attached comment, there is a link and all the details. The overview is over. Happy hunting we wish you. Now go, Commander.